EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Chicago Bears. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Play action this time with Love. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And they work this well upfield across the 45. The end result, 21 yards. Play action here on the first play from scrimmage. They want to see how the linebackers are going to react. Are they looking to stop the run? Are they going to sit back in coverage? A really nice job there of going in attack mode early. And they pick up a quick first down. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Completes it again to Dobbs. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. So we just called his name on the previous snap, and they go right back to him, Charles, for a second consecutive completion. Yeah, I think what we're discovering on this drive is that he feels like he has answers no matter what defense you throw up there. He reads it, finds the open spot, and is available for the completion. First carry now for A.J. Dillon. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. First down, love to pass. On the out loud, Dobbs brings it in. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A good-looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I, I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. 23 yards on the play. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Jacobs. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. That time, the right guard sending him backwards. And so many different types of guys rotate in on the defensive line now, depending on situations. You can get the bulky guy, the fast guy. No matter what, though, you can't hold them. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs, and he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second in goal. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. From the 10-yard line, here's second in goal. One more time with Jacobs. And he'll take this from the 9 down to about the 7. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Love, this is third and goal. Touchdown, Packers! A seven yard touchdown grab. And the Packers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but 
Well, the only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15. <laughs> Keeping that going. And he feels like he can get it done. back out there now to send this one away. Valus Jones now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Chicago offense set to get started. Williams throwing to start the drive. And he'll get this complete downfield to connect. A huge play there for Chicago. 55 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Well, think of it like you would a typical boxing match. The person is on his heels and absorbing blows is having a tough time. And that's what's happening to the defense right now because the offense is on his toes and punching. And there was another first down run right there. Here's Swift. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. Once again, it's Swift. And he will fight his way. DeAndre Swift, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bears respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this taken in at the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A good pick up there, a 22. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field. 
for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Love from the gun. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game, you know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. Working out of the gun, Love. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Here is third and five. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down per minute and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Here's Jones. We'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return, and the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out, looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive. And they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A big pickup of 38. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. They moved the ball over 50 yards between this play and the last one. And that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they're fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. On first and 10, it's Swift. A tough run gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and are controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards, but also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Johnson. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times, and what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, 
You saw the end result. Defensive tackle ended up making the play. Swift. Diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. But he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Quick slow to Watson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Had a wide open target, but didn't have the proper footwork to increase his accuracy. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Love with it here, third and short yardage. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And when the time has expired on the first quarter. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. First down, Williams. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. Back to throw, Williams. And that one complete downfield to Allen. A huge play there for Chicago. 43 yards. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, 
And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. 41 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and nine. They run out of the gun with Swift. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Williams now to throw on third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Allen, the man in motion left. And he'll get it here on the touch pass. And a great job there to read that one defensively. They strung him out, would not allow him to cut up field. The ball on the eight still could get a first down technically, second and seven. Operating from the gun, Williams. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Bears go up by two touchdowns. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away and good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20 and now the Packers get set to go defense got the better of them last series forcing a punt see if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive first and ten Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 22 now, here's a second and seven. 
Once again, it's Jacobs. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. On third down, Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. First down, going to the air with Love. And yeah, this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Dylan now on first and 10. They find some open field here. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get him. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. On play action. Love to throw. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. Yeah, their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Love now. Well, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. That would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Here's Love. Open man. He's got Reed. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the ten. His first catch, good for 14 there and a first down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Love now to pass on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. Just a gain of a couple there, and that's going to bring up second down. Again, it's Love. Working end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. In search of eight yards on third down, they've already converted two of these on this drive, two for two. Love. Luke Musgrave, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Packers are back within a score. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Carlson's extra point up and good. And they're back within a touchdown at 21-14.
So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. That'll put him at 96 yards receiving now for the game, and he's got a first down as well. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. A throw over the middle, taken in, and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got the connection to Moore. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Now, that was pretty. They executed that core route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window, he fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he will be brought down, but a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. They'll look to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. Just nowhere to go with the football. He was forced to put that one into Lake Michigan. I think his receivers have to do a better job of working free because he didn't have anywhere to go at all on that play. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. They'll run the draw here with Swift. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now they'll throw here out of the gun to the end zone, but it's incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. So on fourth down, Cairo Santos on now for the Bears field goal. From the left hash, should be a fairly easy one here. Santos' kick is up and through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move.
after the made field goal. Santos back out there to kick it away. Nixon now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animating. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten. Throwing. Love. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Towards the middle and caught by Musgrave. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down. Hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. Going back to love. And this one is going to be off the mark. Too far out in front. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. To throw now. Here's Love. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. But they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with it. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. And here's Daniel wheeling on now to punt. Hey, he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Bears going to get one more possession in this first half. Already enjoying a two-score lead here late in the second quarter. Not a ton of time left. We'll see if they can work this at least into field goal range and try to get three to add on even more to their lead. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. 14 yards into Chicago first down. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Now the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. 
No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. If this defense wants to stay in this ballgame, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and in incompletion as a result. Here's second and ten. Throwing again, Williams. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. And that could have been the lifeline they needed. This is a play that could have been made. Instead, it's just going to fall incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Steps away to his left. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, you hate that defensively. They had him pretty well corralled, but the face mask, that obviously changes things. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating because you feel like you did everything right. You had him stop, but the hand gets up just a little too high, and the natural inclination is to hold on, and that's going to get called every time. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Love looking to throw it. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Play action this time with Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. 23 yards to pick up there. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 down at the 31. Now again to Jenkins running right to the 27-yard line. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Now Love. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Love from the gun on third down. Dancing to his left. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half 
off a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Dillon. Oh, and I think he went backward. He did. The Packers unable to pick up the first. And the Bears will get the football back. Partner, when you see a running play stop short like that, you just know that the defensive front, they won the battle of leverage and created the push back into the opposing backfield. And for the offensive coordinator, whether you had one yard to go or 20 yards to go on fourth down, now you're probably saying, oh, maybe I should have passed it, right? Yeah, hindsight is always 20-20. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 75 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now Williams throwing on first down. Oh, some strong run. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They go back to the ground, this time swift. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. In motion left goes Allen. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Ball at the 33, second and nine. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. is the target incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On is Santos for the Bears field goal. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Santos kick is up and through and that will extend their lead even further. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself in the range. That way if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. After the main field goal, Santos back out there to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. The Packers offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. 
And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Counter play with Jacobs. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And not much room to speak of. He'll get about three up to the 41. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Has a pretty good throw on the curl route there. Third down, and they pick up a first. Defense should be aware for that, right? They should be aware, but it was so hard sometimes. Yeah, it's not cause, easy. Because <laughs> when, they, when they sell that route really well, you think they're going upfield, then they curl back, show their numbers to the quarterback, and complete the play. It was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Second and nine from the 44. They will run the draw with Jacobs. Gets around him. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores. But the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And he'll get it inside the 35. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Switching things up, they'll throw it now with Jordan Love. He's got the hook up with Dobbs. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The offense on third down tonight, five out of nine thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. First down, going to the air with Love. And his pass incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. On play action, love to throw. Got a man over the middle and it's complete. 
And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. A great effort there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Now Carlson for the extra point. And the lead will shrink to six. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Bears now ready to take over again. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. Because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Wide open, it's Allen complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. they mark him down at the 39. 14 yards into Chicago first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Williams. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Hey, let's face it. You can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere. But that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right. Tried to work his way back to his left. But just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Back to throw again. That'll be caught. It's Scott. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Chicago! Tyler Scott, 56 yards. And the Bears use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away 
Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. A well executed 22 yard gain. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Second down and eight. Love now. Same target. It's Jacobs again. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 41-yard line. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So first and 10 now from the 30. Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 12 more yards there and another first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in his performance. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And it's a Packers touchdown. Josh Jacobs from 19 yards away. And the Packers have cut it back within a score. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Williams. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker, has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Here's Williams to throw on second down. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Williams on third down. Complete 
as well. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at the 40. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. The offense on third down tonight, they're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. Here it's third and two. Love, they go play action now. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Short yardage situation, you have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out in the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Just need a yard here, second and one. Jacobs gonna try the middle. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line. Two yards on the pickup and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. The Love's throw finds its target, Dobbs. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there, 21 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first and 10, Love toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Big play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. Working out of the gun. Love. He's got Watson. It's caught. Touchdown, Packers. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Packers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter.
Let's do it. Let's ride, dog. Now this one setting up for a great finish, all tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Bears offense ready to get going again. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. They'll start on the ground with Swift, and he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Williams now looking to throw on second down. Going deep here for Allen. And that's caught inside the 30. What a call right there. That is so well executed offensively. A massive play in this game. And now all of a sudden, they are in field goal range. And with a chance to walk out of here, winners. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. They will run straight ahead with Swift. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Once again, it's Swift. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute 7 remaining. Now first and goal. Here's Swift, and this time they were ready for him as he's taken down at the line of scrimmage. Second down, Swift. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit. A great read, and they get to the backfield and make the play. And that was a big chunk of yardage lost. Ball sits on the 12, third and goal. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick. He's been decisive. And he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. And we are set for a great finish as that timeout comes in with two seconds to go in this football game. So here's Cairo Santos on the field goal try. This to put an end to a wild Monday night. And his kick is good. He knocks through his third field goal of the game, and this one 
is the one that decides it. And this home crowd is in a frenzy as their guys have pulled it out of the end. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield.